Yeah. Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Let me share my screen. Okay. So uh, again, like today we have to discuss about like platform uh, app data certification maintenance exam, like winter twenty twenty four. So we have to take care of like these kind of maintenance exams. Otherwise, like uh, our certification should be like inactive, right? So when we are doing the maintenance exam, then it should be like uh, active only. So if not, that certification should be like inactive. Okay, fine. So let's come to the topic of like. Uh, so we have to go with like first one. So we have like two uh challenge one challenge two will be there. So I have to take one by one. So first one should be like hundred points of challenge. So we have to clear all these things. So we have time patience. Then we have to read all about this functionality and what all the new changes and what we have to do. So those kind of steps we have to do. So others like you can go with directly to the uh, question and answers. We'll see. So I already uh go through this all the functionality. So directly I will go with like answer. Okay. So I will go with like complete answers directly. So we have time like we have to read all the question and answers. Okay. Okay, fine. So, mm -hmm. related list. Related list. Okay. Default setting. So oh, should be like thirty days. Lightning experience. Okay. So we have to verify one more time. Why? Because uh, the certification is done, right? So we have to verify one more time. Okay, fine. So now I'm going to get my this challenge now. So don't try. Yep. So now this will complete it. Now we'll go with like one another challenge too. So so in this challenge. Yep. So we have to complete this challenge actually. So what we need to do first of all, like for this thing, like I have to create one. I create one. Uh, separate trailer for this like playground so why because uh, so in this scenario like they mentioned like uh, stella Paola. okay so this is the one contact will be there so for you if people are getting this contact then you have to create one separate playground for this then it will be work or else like uh, it will be difficult to getting this uh, contact if you have in uh, our level this contact will be there then it will be fine or else no problem okay so I created a separate background for this. So now I will go with like what we need to do. So create quick action on the case object. Okay. So what we need to do first of all, like you have to create a, a quick action. So first of all, like what we need to do, we have to go with like a case object, right? So now go to cases here, go to object. So first we have to create one option called like update status. Okay, action name should be like update status. So label should be like a change status, right? Just copy this label. Now go to case subject. Now go to buttons and actions and links. Here we have to create one new action. So it should be like update record, right? Let's check. So action should be update status. So then it should be like update records. Okay. So now we have to take like update records. And the label should be uh, change status. Am I right? Yep, change status name. Okay, label change status. And we have to update this action, the update record, right? So name should be like uh, change status. And it should be underscore. Why? Because if not giving underscore, it should be getting error. And success message. So status updated successfully. Let's copy this one. Now copy and now save. Okay, so now we created one action and the case object. Okay, so again step two. Uh, successfully added. So we added the action layout. So add status field and the con uh, action layout. Okay, so here like what we need to do is like add update status quick action onto the case related to the contact object. Okay. So here also, if you want to add, uh, you can add this here also. Sorry, or else you can add there also. Like uh, status, 
Oh, sorry, it is a case object, right? So now we'll go with like contact object. So contact. So now go to page layout and go to contact layout. So this is the contact layout and here is the case. So here is the button. So add here and just change status. Okay. So under the related list, under the related list, so we have option called like button. So here we need to add this status change. Okay, now save. So now we added here. If you want cross check, then you can cross check again. So here, like you added all it. Okay, so now okay. And now try to save. So now contact has been created. I'm sorry. Uh, we created an action in the case layout, I mean case object. That action should be added under the contact related list under the contact page layout. Okay, so now we created. So we added here contact layout. Now we have to go with like view all the related list of the contacts. Okay, and mask select all the cases and set status to the closed one. Okay, so now we have to go with like uh, contacts for here. Of course, sorry, contacts, right? So now we'll go with like all the contacts. Okay, so sometimes like uh, you are not getting uh, this uh, contact name like uh, Stella. Okay, so if you are not getting in your uh, art level in Stella, so we have to create a separate player. So then it will work. Okay, so now we'll go to this account. So this contact. So it's just contact like we have our uh, four cases, right? So just view all. Okay, so what they are asking. So view all related contact in Stella. So in case related list, okay. So this is the case related list. And so mass select all the cases, okay. And closed one. So, so uh, change status, but that button has been appeared here, right? So we added previously, so that button has been appeared here. So now we have to select all the uh, cases at a time and now change status. And what they are asking, like uh, status to close, okay. So now we have to go with like uh, status should be closed. Okay. If you want to update any uh, status, I mean subject or description, your choice. They are asking only status should be like closed. So the status should be like closed. Okay. So now say so for records change status. Yes. Okay. Yep. So now four cases status has been changed to closed. Okay. So now I'm going to verify this challenge now here. That's it, like we completed these steps. So now we're going to verify the challenge. Yep, it will take the uh, 30 seconds to verify on the challenge. We'll see. We cannot find out the update status. We can find the quick action name, update status. Challenge not yet completed. Okay, maybe we need to refresh first but because we created that and we need to refresh, right? So now try to uh, verify the challenge again. Now it will work but because uh, earlier we didn't refresh, right? We'll see. Still update status. We can't find out the quick action name called update status. What we did wrong here? Oh, sorry. So what we did here? Standard name change status. So action name should be update status, right? Not change status. Okay. So again, we have to go with that object. I mean case object. So we added different names here. Let's. Uh, Clarify that edit object. So button actions and link. So change status, right? That action name should be update status. Sorry, not change status. It should be like update status. Now save. Okay. So now go to contact update. Refresh. Name should be like update status. Okay. So they are asking only, right? So name should be update status. Okay. So now go to contact page layout. And now related list cases. So 
here the button okay fine so now save and save okay so now go to contacts again so just be close right so now go to here uh, refresh now try to work so because the earlier we uh, updated name call like change data right so that was a mistake so we have to uh, change the name should be like update status so just like copy paste like change status that's the reason it doesn't work so now it will work like update status yes see successfully completed app builder certification management system winter 2024 okay thanks for watching if you have any questions please uh, add comment in the video section so i can reply i can resolve your queries okay thank you